thinking about becoming a penetration tester but overwhelmed by where to start? In this video, I'm breaking down some certifications that you can do to kickstart your career, even if you are starting from the scratch. Also, I will share my take on college. Are you ready to plan out your path to success? Then let's get to it. I divided this path in three levels. The first one is the beginner level, where you can have little to no experience in IT. The second one is the intermediate level, uh, where you have some experience in IT or maybe a college degree. And the third one is the advanced level. Now let's begin by talking about the beginner level. The first certification that you should consider is probably one that you have heard of before. And that certification is CompTIA A+. I know this name might be popping up everywhere, but there's a good reason for that. For instance, this certification is perfect for complete beginners, because it covers essential topics like hardware, software, networking and troubleshooting. Another good reason is that this certification is highly recognized by companies. So, not only you will gain foundational IT knowledge, but it will also enhance your employability for entry-level jobs. Now, if you have this certification, you can already apply for jobs like help desk technician, IT support specialist, among other jobs. Of course, that this can depend on your country, for instance, on United States, maybe you can apply for a help desk job without this uh, certification. But uh, on other countries, this certification is essential for landing a job like this. Now, a great question is why to start in one of these roles? Think of these uh, roles as on the job training, because while you are earning money, you are also building the skills that you will need for more advanced certifications. Next, it's time to develop your networking knowledge, which is crucial for penetration testers. So, the second certification is CompTIA Network Plus. With this certification, you will learn about networking protocols, how to configure, how to manage and how to troubleshoot networks. Now, this is essential because a penetration tester needs to understand networks to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. Now, with CompTIA A+, and CompTIA Network+, Plus, you can do Network Support Technician, Junior Network Administrator, and other jobs. After building a solid IT and networking foundation, you are ready to enter in the world of cybersecurity. So, the next certification is CompTIA Security+. Plus. With this certification, you will learn about a lot of things like network security, threat identification, risk management and more. Now, this uh, Security Plus is often required for cybersecurity roles. So, with these three certifications, so the CompTIA A+, the CompTIA Network+, Plus, and the CompTIA Security+, Plus, you will be able to work on jobs like cybersecurity analyst, security administrator and systems administrator and a lot of other jobs of course. Now that you've built a strong foundation, it's time to specialize in penetration testing and ethical hacking. I will talk about hands-on certifications because even though they are not as well known by employers, uh, hands-on experience is highly valuable and let's face it, studying uh, sometimes can be a little bit dry. And getting hands-on practice can keep you motivated uh, and it's a way to apply what you have learned. So let's begin by the certifications that will introduce you to penetration testing. And those are the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester and the PJPT uh, that stands for Practical Junior Penetration Test. These certifications are similar, they are entry level and they cover things like networking, information gathering, etc. Now, if you decide to make one of them, I advise you to make a little bit of research and choose the one that you think it's better for you. Me personally, I'm taking the PJPT from TCM Security and until now I can tell you that uh, I'm learning a lot with the videos that they give. Also, they make mini quizzes 
uh, which I think it's awesome because you can see uh, what you really know and what you need to rewatch. But you should uh, do your research and choose the one that best suits your needs. And before I forget, both these certifications are hands-on certifications. Now let's talk about our second level, so the intermediate level. So by now you should have the basic knowledge that you need in order to jump into the intermediate certifications. In this level, I will give you hands-on certifications and more theoretical certifications. So the first certification on the list of the intermediate certifications is the EC Console uh, Certified Ethical Hacker, uh, also known as CEH. This certification is a more theoretical certification. With this certification, you will learn hacking tools, techniques and methodologies commonly used by penetration testers. CEH is widely recognized by employers and is often a baseline requirement for penetration testing roles. The next on the list is a hands-on certification and it's the PNPT from TCM Security, also known as Practical Network Penetration Tester. This certification focuses on network penetration testing, including bypassing security measures and exploiting network vulnerabilities. The third on the list is the e-learning certified professional penetration tester, as known as ECPPT. This certification is also a hands-on certification and it covers advanced penetration testing techniques like web application testing, network security and exploitation. Now let me just tell you that the PNPT and the ECPPT certifications are a little bit different because the PNPT focuses on network penetration testing while the ECPPT is a little bit more broad. So overall you can take both certifications E and B highly versatile and equipped to handle a wide range of penetration testing scenarios or you can take the PNPT and focus specifically on network the penetration testing or take the ECPPT and uh, have a broad skill set. After these certifications we go to our last level guys. So that level is the advanced level. Now in this level you already have some experience in penetration testing uh, and you can jump to the final certification that is known as the OSCP also known as Offensive Security Certified Professional and often considered the gold standard in penetration testing. The OSCP is known for its rigor and the hands-on uh, challenge it presents. In this certification you will need to exploit a range of systems in a controlled environment, uh, proving your ability to think like a hacker. Basically, uh, after this certification you will be very good on what you do, so on penetration testing. So, with this path you will have the skills and the knowledge that are necessary to become a penetration tester. Remember, gaining experience while you earn these certifications is crucial. The great thing is that you will be applying what you learn uh, in real world scenarios. Also, I don't want to discourage you, but this isn't gonna be easy. These certifications will probably give you a hard time, but if you do not give up and if you like what you are doing, then uh, this will be very rewarding. And that's it guys for certifications, but don't go anywhere now because we will talk about college. So some of you might be wondering, uh, do I need to go to college or can these certifications alone get me into penetration testing? Well, as you all know, having a college degree can open many doors. And having a degree often provides a well-rounded education, offering not just technical knowledge, but also critical thinking uh, and a broader understanding of various fields. Now, in my opinion, this can be beneficial if you are still exploring what you want to do uh, in your career. Additionally, a college degree is still highly valued by employers, particularly in larger companies. It can also provide excellent networking opportunities, 
uh, allowing you to connect with peers, professors and industry professionals who can help you advance your career. However, in college, you don't always get to focus solely on the subjects that you are passionate about. The curriculum often includes a wide range of topics that may not directly align with your career goals, which can sometimes feel like a waste of time, especially if you already know what you want to do. Personally, when I was pursuing my bachelor's degree, I often felt overwhelmed by the different subjects that I had to study and while I did learn a lot, I sometimes felt that I wasn't able to dive as deeply into the areas that interested me uh, uh, the most. And this is where certifications come in because certifications allow you to focus directly on the skills and knowledge that you need uh, for your chosen career path. When you are passionate about a specific field like penetration testing, certifications can provide a more efficient way uh, to gain the expertise you need. Also, certifications are very good because you can learn at your own pace, you can uh, gain practical skills that you can apply immediately in the workplace, etc. Moreover, certifications are increasingly recognized by employers especially in the tech industry. You will often see job listings that specifically ask for certain certifications and FDs on your resume can make you a strong candidate, even without a college degree. So, what's the bottom line? Well, a college degree is valuable, especially if you are still figuring out your career path or aiming for roles that require a broad education and critical thinking skills. However, if you already know that penetration testing is your passion, then certifications can be an excellent way to gain specialized knowledge and practical experience that can make you stand out uh, in the job market. And remember, the two paths aren't mutually exclusive. Many professionals uh, benefit from a combination of both. So using certifications to build practical skills while a degree provides a broader foundation. In the end, it's about what works best for you and aligns with your career goals. Whether you choose the college route, certifications or a combination of both, staying committed to learning and growing in your field is the key to success. And that's it guys, I hope this video has helped you uh, on your journey to becoming a penetration testing and also there are plenty of other certifications out there but I focused on the ones that uh, are most commonly requested by employers and the ones that give you hands-on experience. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. Before you go, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, do you think that certifications alone are enough? Or do you think that a college degree uh, is a better route? I'd really love to hear if, uh, what you think, so leave a comment down below. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe and keep pushing towards your goals. Bye bye!